Hi, I'm Brian with CraftedFlash.com. Are you getting hard drive errors? Would you like to check the status of any hard drive and run the onboard self-tests? Would you like to look up the exact model, serial number, and firmware of any hard drive? In this video, I'm going to show you how to get some answers. I'll be booting an HP laptop from the admin key flash drive from CraftedFlash.com. The software on this USB flash drive provides access to the smart monitoring system, which is included with the firmware on most modern hard drives. By booting from this USB 3.0 flash drive, I can test drives that are no longer booting the local system. To get started, I'll insert the USB drive in any available slot and power on the computer. Normally, we would need to press the boot menu key as the computer powers up. However, this computer has the boot priority favoring the USB drive, so it will boot directly to the distro list that you see here. For more information on booting your computer from USB, refer to the USB boot guide on craftedflash.com. Once the distro list is displayed, we can use the up and down arrow keys to select the distro we need, which in this case is part of magic. Press enter to start it loading. The bootloader is now loading the distro into memory and will automatically launch it once this is complete. When troubleshooting hard drive related error messages, it is often useful to determine whether there is a physical failure versus a file corruption error. The information in this video indicates the physical status of the hard drive. If the drive shows physical errors, then it needs to be replaced. If the hard drive shows no physical problems, then the error messages likely indicate corruption of the partition, file system, or individual files. In that case, you need to repair the corruption. I'm going to use the G-Smart Control tool to review the status and specifications of the main hard drive. This tool will not modify the drive. You can launch G-Smart Control from the disk health icon. When you launch it, it scans the system and presents a list of the available drives. Just select the drive in question and the G Smart Control will display the device information window. The Toshiba is the main drive in this laptop. The, information, the device information window has convenient tabs to organize the smart information retrieved from the hard drive. The Identify tab is displayed initially, and it contains useful information about the hard drive. The model family shows the manufacturer and the form factor. The device model gives you the exact model number for the drive, which can be very useful if you need to look up inf information on a replacement drive. Right, so we can find out about what it would take to replace the drive. The serial number can be very useful for researching warranty status. The firmware can be useful sometimes if you have a problem that's only present in certain firmware releases. Then you have capacity and <coughs> other information about the drives. The Attributes tab shows a list of readings reported by the smart system. These readings are vendor-specific and can therefore be difficult to describe and interpret for all drives. However, the convenient failed column shows whether the drive firmware considers any of the readings to have fallen outside of the allowed ranges during the entire lifetime of the drive. So this Toshiba apparently never had a reading outside of the ranges. The Capabilities tab shows supported features of the drive as reported by the firmware. The Error Log tab shows the lifetime drive error count and the actual errors most recently detected. Some firmware only stores the last five errors. 
Under normal circumstances, you would expect this section to be empty. Modern firmware works very hard to transparently reallocate physical sectors that fail. So when an error is recorded in the error log, it indicates that the firmware was unable to compensate for the problem. The Perform Test tab provides you with options for testing the drive. All of the smart tests presented here are safe for user data. Now I'm going to open a terminal window and show you a couple of command line options for the underlying Smart CTL tool. The Smart CTL tool provides the back end lookup mechanism for the GSmart control user interface. It can be useful for automating the collection of drive status information. The first command displays the information similar to the Identify tab on the GUI. Smart CTL dash dash info slash dev slash SDA. The second command displays the Smart error log. Smart CTL dash L error slash dev slash SDA. Finally, uh, I'll show you the command with the help parameter that shows all of the available command line options. Just dash dash help. And if you scroll backwards, you can see there are quite a few supported command line options. There are several ways to obtain the GSmart control tool for your use. You can visit craftedflash.com and order the admin key flash drive shown in this video. If you already have Linux installed on the system with a target hard drive, then you can probably install GSmart control from the distro repositories. On Ubuntu or Debian, you can use sudo apt-get install gsmart control. On CentOS, Red Hat, and OpenSUSE, you can use yum install gsmart control. This is useful for one computer with a working hard drive. However, having gsmart control on a USB flash drive with a bootable OS like Parted Magic allows you to troubleshoot almost any laptop or PC regardless of the hard drive status. Even better, you can take the flash drive with you when assisting customers, family, and friends. I hope this video has been instructive. Please visit the forums at craftedflash.com and let us know if you have any questions or suggestions. Finally, subscribe to our channel now as we'll be publishing more videos soon.